Thank you, people. It's your old buddy Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya, and today I'm surrounded by Taisho Koto or Nagoya harps, as they're known. Uh, really cool instruments. They kind of resemble lap steel, but you don't play them this way. They've got little keys here, and uh, it's electrified. Taisho is an era from the last century, like the teens and the 20s in Japan, and that's when these really gained popularity. So. I'm going to just give you a quick example. This is reverb, otherwise clean. And then we'll come back and I'll show you a couple others. We'll go through a tape echo and uh, maybe some other effects. But just check it out for a second. I'm no expert. Let's just give you some of the ambient sounds here. Pretty awesome. All right, uh, let's come back. I'll try to get something a little bit more enthralling together than that, and I'll show you a couple of these other varieties. But Taisho Koto, super cool. Let's go. Okay, I brought it up to the table just to give you a better look at it. And uh, most of them have a little pick holder here, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of varieties. They come in four string, five string, six string. This is a five. Uh, it's got a little pickup here. Oddly, it's an eighth inch to a quarter inch pickup. But treble and uh, volume control. And then a nice little chrome butt here to rest your wrist on. And, uh, you know, that turtle shell kind of uh, plate. I mean, they're really well built instruments they're not toys by any means they're uh they're meant to be played so a lot of different case variations like gig bags soft cases with pockets hard cases really cool that's just amazing how many different varieties they are there are so let me just give you some sounds here uh, we're still on just reverb only at this point it's all tuned to e a lot of times these will come with the uh, with the low E string taped down. So people people find it easier apparently to play without hitting that, that low E, but I, I like that sound. But let me just walk down the, the keys just to give you that, to, you can hear it that way.
this is the, this is a Japanese instrument, but it's very Chinese sounding here, you know. It's that sound. So the blacks, just like a piano, are the sharps. You can get a little vibrato in there. And there's like hammer-ons. It can be played without strumming, although not as effectively, but... Really cool. So, uh, you know, it can really add an ambient sound to something, I think. Okay, I'm gonna grab another one, and uh, I think we'll go through a tape echo just to give you that feel. Okay, next up we've got a Suzuki, and the Suzuki doesn't have a pick holder, but it has a tie-down pick, which is kind of interesting. This thing just dangles on the back side here, and this is uh, could use a cleaning, but. Uh, Damn, I think I got a delivery. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm hooked up to uh, an old Evans Super Echo with a really rough tape on it. But uh, let's listen to this. I'm going to go just fingers here. I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna grab another one. Okay, I grabbed another one here and uh, just gave it a quick tune. Uh, this thing looks like it's made out of pine almost. I, I don't really know. It's kind of a lightweight one. Uh, but cool tuners on it. You can see there are all different kinds of tuners they come with. Uh, these little things here just slip over these little keys so you can take those off and wash them or throw them away or do whatever with those another little pick holder 
funky pick hole in it so you could tie it up if you want to. This thing needs a good cleaning, but. There again, I haven't spent a lot of time with these. Uh, I can see where this could go, and it could be pretty awesome. I think. Uh, just as a change up, I tune this one to G. Uh, you know, you just clip on a tuner like you would uh, anything. So uh, it's at, this one's in tune to G. You know, there's a, a little bit of learning curve, I think, with these because, you know, if you really push down hard, you get a lot of wood noise. You know, you get to figure out how it works, but I think there's so much possibility here for some ambient background or some kind of a, a riff that uh, you just don't normally hear. So I'm gonna grab another one, I'll come back. All right, people, I just went and grabbed this Gaia Tone power supply, which has an 18 volt out, which this flanger, uh, Max and Flanger requires. I've got wires all over hell right now, which is a little uncomfortable, but. Uh, let's listen to this once.
mind. I'm starting to fall madly in love with this thing. I gotta get things going here, folks. This is the way the picks come. Look at this beautiful little uh, crane and the picks are inserted in here with their little thing on there. All right, uh, just to give you a, a look at a couple others, this is Mahogany Beast. I don't know if it's mahogany, but dark wood looking thing. This one's got a full size uh, out on it, which is kind of nice. A little bamboo and some stuff there. Different style keys, as you can see. So there's a lot of variation in these things, uh, which is nice. You know, they all got little rubber feet on them. Again, well built. They're not, uh, they're by no means any kind of a toy. Uh, again, we got wires everywhere and chaos ensuing. But uh, just to give you a look at a few others here in a few cases. So I'm going to be cleaning these up and uh, listing them, stringing them up. Hard cases, soft cases, red linings. Uh, a lot of variation. There's like kind of a gig bag like I was talking about. So uh, if you're interested in something like this, I think the prices are going to be somewhat reasonable. The problem with these is the shipping because they're such an odd shape. They're pretty expensive for me to ship by UPS. 